back in the kitchen and guess what time it is. It's almost Christmas time because it's November. So today we're going to start making some Christmas candy. We're going to make my famous peanut butter fudge. Anybody can make peanut butter fudge. The ticket to good peanut butter fudge is having a candy thermometer. This is a must have because you got to get it to 234 degrees when you cook it. It'll turn out perfect every time. All right, so here we go. We're turning on the eye. You start with a big sturdy pan. This is the kind I use because it's got a handle. When I pour the fudge in my pan, I can pick it up easy. So you gotta have a big pan. We're gonna start with a stick and a half of butter. There we go. Stick and a half of butter. Get this opened up. Yeah, I should have already had that open, I guess. All right, stick and a half of butter. One can, the small can, of evaporated milk. Whee! Here we go. Look at that. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa, Daddy. That milk was a splashing. Splashing, Mama. All right. Throw that away. And we need three cups of sugar. So I got my eye turned on high. And this is what we're going to get started with. We're going to bring this stuff to a boil. Three cups of sugar. So we got our butter, our small can of milk, and three cups of sugar. All right. Now, we're going to bring this to a boil, and then we're going to stir it constantly. As soon as it starts, can y'all see it in the pan here? I'll get my handy dandy little elf assistant here. A.K.A. Brooke. Hi, everybody. Again. We're going to get her to film what it looks like in the pan. Now, the pan, I just turned it on, so it's barely starting to get hot. hot. We're going to go ahead, and this butter's going to melt, and I'm going to keep stirring it. And then I'm going to stick the candy thermometer in there once it cooks about, say, two or three minutes. Because you got to boil it about five minutes. Then I'll bring y'all back and show you what it looks like. All right? All right. Here we go. It's been boiling now. Butter's almost melted. So I'm going to put the candy thermometer in here. And continue to stir it. And in the meantime, my assistant wants to back away for a minute. We're going we're gonna to take some butter. We're just going to butter our pan up here. Just the bottom of the pan. Just smear some butter in the bottom of the pan. All over the butter of the pan. Bottom of the pan. All right. And now what you want to get ready. As soon as this thing gets to 234 degrees on this candy thermometer. We're going to need a jar of marshmallow cream. I already took the lid off. We're going to need 12 ounces of peanut butter, so I'll take the lid off of that, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And we got to put all that in there kind of quickly and stir as all we can. All right, we'll be right back. And this all right, we're at 234 degrees. We're going to go ahead and put on our marshmallow cream. And then let me grab the peanut butter over here. We're going to put about 12 ounces of peanut butter in. Now you can use smooth peanut butter or if you want nuts in your fudge, you can use chunky peanut butter. So I'll just kind of guess and say that's about... 12 ounces. You gotta beat that up really good. All right. See how you mix it? You gotta go kind of fast though, because your fudge will start getting hardening up on you. All right. And we can go ahead and let me just slide over here and get the teaspoon and 
We're going to put a teaspoon of vanilla in it. And that's the last thing we do. Now we just stir, stir, stir. Got to get all that marshmallow cream stirred up. All right. It's got to go real fast. I got this nice heavy duty rubber scraper here. I'm making smooth peanut butter fudge today. Like I said, you can add nuts to it if you want. Or if you want to make chocolate fudge instead of peanut butter, you would put in a 12 ounce bag of chocolate chips instead of the peanut butter. And that'll give you a nice chocolate fudge. All right, look there, we almost got it all going. See how smooth it's looking? It smells so good. All right. There, my assistant said it smells good. All right, now we're going to back up here, and I'm going to dump it over here in this pan. Like I said, I've already buttered the pan. There it goes. All right, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Look at that, y'all. Then we just smooth it out here. Smooth it out. Like that. And there you have it. Now we'll just let that harden up. Doesn't take hardly any time to harden up. And we'll just cut it in little slices and it'll be so good. Go ahead and hit pause and we'll show them what it looks like later. All right, we've cut a little corner out of here. It's a little bit soft because it's still uh, setting up, but we want to go ahead and uh, get this video posted and show y'all how good this peanut butter fudge is. Mmm. 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 Slap the dog and spit in the fire. Now that's some good peanut butter fudge. Okay, till next time. See y'all later.